And the question is, can Dermatox can really fix everything? And most importantly, I mean, like, is Dermatox clean? Given how new it is, people understandably have a few questions about it. So today, we're going to look at everything you need to know about Dermatox. Hi, I'm Yurlaine Mertens from Beauty by Code, and I am here to help you find the code behind your skin. So welcome to my channel. Okay, first, what it is. Well, Dermatox is a facial treatment developed to address the usual concerns we all have from large pores to acne to scars and, you know, signs of aging on the face. It is able to do this without needing a lot of downtime and it helps generate, um, it helps generate new collagen in your body, which is what will help you keep looking youthful and plump. Now, there are two types of treatments with Dermatox. You can get it injected, which developers like Aquavit are working on and getting an FDA um, approval for, or you can go the non-invasive uh, route. So in the non-invasive option, Dermatox uses a combination of microdermabrasion and uh, chemical peels to exfoliate and rejuvenate your skin. So they basically remove the dead skin cells to stimulate the production of collagen and elastin before adding a chemical peel to penetrate the skin and stimulate the production of new cells, resulting, of course, in a smoother, beautiful, youthful appearance. Now, one of the benefits of Dermatox is that it can be customized to meet the specific needs of each individual patient. The strength of the chemical peel and the level of exfoliation can be adjusted and based on your specific skin type and skin concerns. Okay, now for the invasive option, it uses like small amounts of um, diluted botulinum toxin. I will say that both options set it apart from Botox to provide a solution for a wide range of skin concerns, including fine lines, wrinkles, and even skin tone, dull skin, and you know like tired looking skin and speaking of botox you're probably wondering you know like why dermatox is a better option because you know it's brand new while botox has been tried tested and we know it works well here's the thing botox and dermatox are both popular treatments used to address signs of aging on the skin we know that but they work in different ways and are used to treat different concerns. Botox is a neuromodulator that is injected into specific muscles in the face to relax them and reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. It is usually used to treat dynamic wrinkles, which are caused by, you know, the repetition, by repetitive facial expressions and muscle movement. So basically it works by blocking the nerves signals that tell the muscles to contract, resulting in a smoother appearance. But this also results in, you know, the Botox face, right? Your face can't or won't move and you will not have, right? Like you don't have like facial expressions. Now, Dermatox on the other hand is a more diluted form, so it doesn't lead to the relaxation of your muscles. So, you can see the benefits of Dermatox over Botox. In addition to that, Dermatox is generally well tolerated with um, very minimal downtime. Of course, you might experience redness or sensitivity in the days following the treatment, but these effects are usually very mild and they don't last very long. You will see results, you know, just after uh, one treatment and it will only get better as days pass. Now, truth is we don't have much information on it right now since, you know, it's very new and it's like the very new thing on the market. Okay, and now it's worth looking at the cons of using Dermatox just to give you like a fair and clear view. Because it works the same as other neurotoxins to treat um, glabular lines, glabular, glabular, glabular lines, you know, the vertical lines that appear between your eyebrows. 
you can expect similar side effects to Botox when it goes wrong, right? Um, and also you can have, you know, like some serious swelling and bruising. If you have had a bad reaction to Botox in the past, you should avoid Dermatox as well. Okay, so how does it work? With the injection, you will get small amounts of um, diluted um, uh, botulinum toxin into the superficial layers of your skin to help you generate, generate more, I would say, new collagen. The number of treatments required for best results will depend on the severity uh, of your condition, right? On the severity on the condition that you are treating. Now, which is great is that you can use it for oily skin, sun damage, large pores, redness, scars, and fine lines. You can also use it for, um, you know, improve your skin's elasticity. Generally speaking, Dermatox is a highly effective and safe treatment so if you're looking to, you know, like rejuvenate your skin and reduce the appearance of, um, you know, the signs of aging, it's a good option for you. I would say that it's a very versatile product. So, um, you know, that's why the hype or the demand it's coming from. And you will see, um, you know, that um, you will see results very quickly. Uh, another question, is Dermatox clean? Um, well, is Botox clean? Uh, Botox is made from um, botulinum toxin, which is a potent neurotoxin produced by a bacterium that is found in, uh, you know, soil, lakes, and the intestinal tracts of uh, mammals and fish. So technically, it's a naturally occurring substance, and the bacteria is harmless in small amount. With Dermatox, you get um, a lighter, not a lighter, but um, diluted version, which makes it, um, you know, safer than Botox. Now the question, is Dermatox right for you? I will say that it has been given good results, but is not a fix-all. I would especially recommend speaking to a professional before you go for Dermatox, since, you know, it's still a very new treatment and there isn't a lot of information out there. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for being here with me today. Bye for now.